Hey guys, I hope you've been meditating every day. So here is your last tip. By the way, Aubrey Warren, if you haven't remembered that by, by now, um, your last tip is meditation doesn't have to be seated. I'm going to say that again. Meditation doesn't have to be seated. There's, there are many different forms of, of meditation. There's seated meditations. There's also movement meditations. So if you found yourself just really having a hard time sitting still and being present, maybe a movement meditation is better for you. So um, take a walk for five minutes. But here's the thing, bring into practice all the other levels that we've discussed. So set your timer so know how far or how long you're going to be doing it. But then listen, right? Listen to what's going on around you. Listen to the sound of your breath and pay extra particular attention to your posture. Make sure you maintain that spinal alignment. But take it one step further and really notice how you're walking. Feel every step around you. Notice everything in your surroundings. The birds, hear the sounds. Notice the trees. Or so you can do a walking meditation. Um, there are different forms of dance meditation where you can just literally put on your favorite song and just move your body intentionally. Let go of thinking and just breathe as deep as you can. It's called a conscious dance. It's a movement meditation. Um, or even if you need to set your timer while washing the dishes and be extra observant of washing the plate, of feeling the bubbles, of smelling the smells. All meditation truly, truly is, is active awareness. I'm going to say that again. All meditation truly is, is active awareness. So Eckhart Tolle used to say one conscious deep breath is a meditation. One conscious step is a meditation. So I want to end today with if seated meditation hasn't been speaking to you or hasn't been working for you, then add some movement in. And even combining breath with movement really helps quiet the mind. So think on one breath I'm going to inhale and the other breath I'm going to exhale or the other step I'm going to exhale. So inhaling with my right foot, exhaling with my left as I walk, combining those actions together or even that's why yoga is a great entrance into meditation, combining the inhale with reaching to the sky, exhale with forward folding, and so on. So the last thing I'm going to leave you guys with is just let go of those tight strains that you think meditation is and just practice being patient, practice being um, patient with yourself, practice being present with yourself. And the more you do it, the easier it's going to get because meditation is just like working your biceps. The more you do it, the stronger that they're going to get. So I hope this week has served you and please feel free, share, comment, like, subscribe to the channel. I'm always putting stuff out there, but more than anything, if this helped you, please, please, please let me know or let someone know who can pass on the word to me who turned you onto these videos because it really, really lights my soul on fire to know that this made a difference in someone else's life. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Namaste.